What's up, wrestling fans? It's Joe Cronin. This is The Joe Cronin Show, and I hope you guys enjoy the new microphone. If you go back and listen to a couple of my videos from the last couple of days, or last uh, couple of videos from yesterday, the, the Logitech that I was using was one of the better USB headset microphones, and it just was so whiny and high-pitched and shitty. Um, but I went out and got this other one that I love a lot more. It's more complimentary to my lower voice. And I hope you guys think this is more enjoyable than the one yesterday. Uh, whenever my kids and everybody are in the family room upstairs, my only choices are to go in the car and record with my podcaster or to go upstairs to the other room with the laptop and use my other professional microphones. But my uh, when the baby is asleep in that room, I can't do that. So the third option is to go down into this back basement area with my laptop or to go in the backyard or go in the car with the laptop or something. And I didn't want to have to bring the mixers and all that shit out here to get the microphone out here. So I was using that Logitech, but it was so bad that it was annoying for me. But now that I've gone out and gotten this microphone, I feel a lot better. First thing I want to start this with today is um, I want to shout out to Chad Mornings and uh, Michael B. for becoming new patrons. If you guys like what I do here and you want to hear all my bonus content, I, I did about a 48-minute episode of Morning Madness this morning. You may enjoy it. All that's up there for $5 patrons, $5 a month, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Go to the website. Uh, also, go to the website and check all, all the free stuff I have up there, too, on Patreon. You can also download the app on your phone as well. You don't need to go to a computer. Um, so I'm, I'm embarrassed for, like, fans and people and Mike and Maria. It's 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 got to be what it's like for a father or a parent when a kid does something so dumb and they see all the kids hating on their kid. It's awkward and you're mad and you want to protect your kid. I know that this is ridiculous. I'm not even the closest friend at all with these with Mike and Maria at all. You know, we've had Maria on the show three times. Maria has always been very nice to me and is just a great person in real life. Um, she's also a strong woman. Um, if anybody remembers when I interviewed her on my show, there was a point where I cut her off. I didn't realize I was cutting her off, but I was kind of, I, I was, I just didn't realize it. And she was like, well, I'm going to finish like, or whatever. And I just really liked that she cut me off and didn't let me get away with stepping over her. Uh, like I did, but I didn't mean to, but I also respect the fact that Mike Bennett or Mike, uh, Canellis as he's in, as in known in WWE, is one of the nicest guys in the locker room that I've ever met, especially when it comes to um, guys that are, you know, guys that went from, you know, independent bookings to Ring of Honor with success there to going to TNA uh, to showing up, you know, at top rope promotions when I'm there and uh, some other places I've seen Mike when I've been in the crowd. And just this guy is a great guy. He's always been very, very nice to me and to everybody, and he's always trying to help people out and give back to uh, other wrestlers and he's creative he's good on the mic his his potential really isn't realized in WWE and it frustrates me because I know a lot of other people think like it's fun to just make fun of it as a joke the power of love thing but you know they could have done way more with that you know that they could have done so much more with that they were given this very bizarre quick storyline with Sami Zayn and now now they just work on the independent you know on the uh house shows basically um it has been a train wreck from the start though for mike and maria because not only were they booked i really loved their debut but then they were not booked properly from after that they never were mike has been great at being an enhancement talent you know to enhance other wrestlers like bobby Roode and things like that I really hope that the WWE has something in store for him down the road here where he basically says, enough of this love crap and enough of all this other th blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to hurt. Like, I'm going to... Whatever the hell they come up with. I don't, And I don't know what it will be. And now it's even more complicated because, you know, he comes out with the whole drug addiction thing and gets this social media buzz, which was really good for them, I think, image-wise. But again, it made a lot of fans say... Like, you can't, you haven't even done anything, and, like, it's just, he got negative, it's weird, from a lot of people, he got great press, but there was also a lot of negative backlash from a lot of the, maybe the internet fans, um, about it, and then, 
And I think part of that is because a lot of people don't know how hard this guy's worked. They really don't. Like, this guy has just worked so hard since forever ago. I mean, we're talking coming up on, like, 20 years of a professional wrestling career, of him working hard to finally get here. Um, you know, and the other thing is the whole drug addiction thing comes out when he was basically shoved in the back and forgotten about by WWE. And they get some press from that. But then it comes out that Maria's pregnant. And now Maria is pregnant. And so the whole power of love and here's my sexy girlfriend and we're hot and we're in love and everything. And it's like, oh, now she's, you know, now she's pregnant. So, you know, you're going to go on TV with the persona of, ooh, the sexy power of love. You know, okay, well, that's no problem. You could still work the baby into that. Maria could still come out there with a baby bump and, and say the power of love has produced you know what I mean? The most amazing child. Our kid's going to be perfect, you know, unlike all of you and stuff like that. And you could really go into that territory with things if they wanted to. But it seems like they're keeping Maria off uh, the road now with the pregnancy. And, you know, she's also still where I think she's still working at school. She has graduated um, and is still working at uh, a degree which a lot of people don't know that, while they were in Ring of Honor, while Maria was coming on my show a couple times, while Mike Bennett came on my show. We talked about that, too. Remember, Mike Bennett joined me on my show as well here on the Joe Cronin Show. You know, and they both have such a positive outlook and a clear outlook of how they want to, you know, entertain people and uh, also succeed in life. Um, but they're way more humble, obviously, in real life than on the screen. But the fact that... You know, the, the now they can't do that either because they also can't do it because the baby situation, there's so many people now pregnant, right, with babies. Like, The Miz and Maurice are having a baby. I think somebody else is pregnant too, and I can't remember who that is. So, you know, what is everybody going to come out and be like, oh, you know, we've got a baby now too. We're the per perfect power couple because we've got a baby now. You know, so I, I just think that they want to stay, stay away from that and use Mike as... Um, you know, continue to use Mike as somebody who works well on house shows, putting people over. Um, but, again, I, I thought the Power of Love thing could have done really well if it had been even given a slight chance. It was literally like Justin Labar's um, attempt at what culture? What culture said, yes, we're going to take on your show and uh, come on over. And then you do one show or two shows, and then they just say, eh, we'll see you later. There's no way to get anything rolling at that point. You know, you would, in my mind, you would like at least like the three strikes and you're out rule. But I say four. I always say four attempts at a storyline before you realize something has co gone completely wrong. And maybe, maybe three attempts. Mike and Maria came out. And right from the beginning, the whole thing with Sami Zayn was stupid. So it didn't take off there. There is no getting over with the crowd and making that work. That's not a Mike Kanellis fault. That's not a Sami Zayn fault. It was the booking and the writing and whoever decided to shoot that stuff's fault. And the funniest thing about it is that Mike gets punished for that or appears to be punished for that. Um, and the thing about it is maybe that's what they wanted all along too. I may be incorrect. They may have just said... Listen, just get him on TV so people know who he is, and then we can put him in house shows. Give him enough TV time a couple times so that the audience knows who he is when we do house shows, kind of, and then he gets beat up by the good guy. And that could be what's going on. And if that's what's going on, then that would make sense why the story with Sami Zayn was dumb. It was stupid. Nobody cared to put anything into it. They just said, hey, hit him with this thing, and that's stupid. And that's why it comes off as so dumb, because the trick it's a trick question. It's not that why is WWE booking Mike so poorly? Why can't they just write better? They don't want to write better. They want to write something quick, put him on TV, and then have him go out there and do the house show stuff. And that's what they envisioned all along, perhaps, with him. And with Maria coming in, it was like some buzz. So it's maybe not a case of WWE ever souring on Mike Bennett. As much of it is a case of WWE using him exactly the way they wanted to use him from the start. Question is why you put so much time into the theme and, 
you know, the, the look and the presentation when you're really not doing anything with it. And maybe I'm just mad because of there. I know the potential of Mike and I know that I'm biased. I know that I'm, he's a local guy here. Um, I love Matt Taven. I love Mike Bennett. I love the current kingdom in ring of honor right now. Uh, Words, better words can't be said for uh, Vinny Marcellia, TK Ryan, and those guys. I was actually supposed to go uh, meet with them on Wednesday, and that didn't happen, but I'm going to go meet with them soon. Um, and I just think it's a shame and a waste. Anyway, what do you guys think about this situation? And do you think that this situation reflects the other situations in the WWE with other wrestlers? With why many of us sit there and we freak out and think, if they could just write this better, why didn't they write that better? Why didn't they do this better? Why didn't they just make it better? And in the end, we're all fighting a lost cause because they do not want to make it better. All these other instances where it seems like they could have done so much better, and we're dumbfounded here, and we're angry, but... There's nothing, and people are coming out saying, I could have booked this better, you could have done this and that. And then everybody agrees, like, yes, Joe Cronin could have booked this better. This other YouTuber could have booked this better. This other guy over here could have booked this better. Why don't they do this? I don't get it. Well, maybe they just don't want to do that. Because they can't really be that dumb. So perhaps we're, it's just not meant to be. And we're fighting an uphill battle. And I feel bad for them. But make no mistake about it. Maria and Mike made it to the WWE after making it in a Ring of Honor, becoming one of the hottest factions in independent wrestling, the kingdom. And then they made their way to TNA Impact. And now they've made their way to WWE after Mike's years and years on the independent scene. And while Maria may have been a gateway for Mike to get in the WWE, people always say that. But it was the tandem. It is both of them that were asked for from all the companies. I'm sure that Maria could get hired because of her name, other places, and what she did in the past. And I'm sure it would have been tougher for Mike to be hired just based alone on his situation. But even with what he did in TNA, one is not as good without the other. And that is a fact that we've spoken about these two for the last three years. Man, when you get these two together, that is something. They did some good things in TNA, but they did some great things in Ring of Honor. And they did even less in WWE. And I am putting all of that blame on WWE because they had the song, they had the look, they had the presentation, and then the storyline that was made was piss poor. My name is Joe Cronin. What do you think about Mike and Maria? But all I know is Maria's pregnant right now. And for people to write some of the things they write about her is kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? And I know that people are just trolling. And I know that she responded on Instagram, which maybe was a mistake. You know, perhaps don't even respond to any of these people. Because... You know, you're really opening the door even more because you're opening the door to a lot of angry WWE fans who are just not happy about most of the product anyway. The casual fans, they don't even know who you are and they just think you suck. And the internet fans are just waiting to just go after people because we're sitting here angry at the product right now. So, uh, you know, and there's really nothing you can do about it because she's pregnant and she's going to be at home and things like that. And Mike's out there on the road doing whatever WWE is expecting of him. But he's expecting himself. Guys, my name is Joe Cronin. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit me up on Twitter at RealJoeCronin. And if you made it this far in the video, I want you to write hashtag Taven's Cock in the chat, in the comments down below. Yes, that's very juvenile. Yes, that's very sickening. Yes, I'm weird. Yes, it's grotesque. But the fact of the matter is you listened and you like it and you will love it. And I got some more words from Mr. P. Diddy and Mr. Bruce Pritchard. I don't give a damn what you did, Bruce Pritchard. I don't give a damn what you did, P. Diddy. I'm the only brother love that ever existed, Joe Cronin. And when I take the love away, bodies decay. I, I'm sorry, I don't know.
Some some guy wrote that in the comment section. He said, "When I take the body away, well, when I take the love away, bodies decay." And I don't know what the hell that means. But yeah, the whole situation, obviously, with P. Diddy, maybe changing his name to Brother Love. Bruce Bridges is upset about it. We've been talking about that for a week, but um, no, P. Diddy's a joke. Who cares, right? And uh, Bruce Pritchard has a pretty damn good podcast, I'll tell you that. Everybody tweet Bruce Pritchard. Tell him uh, to suck Joe. Tell him that Joe Cronin wants his pink nipples on my podcast. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Make sure to support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, for tons of bonus hours of content throughout the week right here on YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Hit that sub button and go over to my Corrupted Podcast channel as well. Don't miss out on the Corrupted Podcast every week. By the way, if you have not subbed to Corrupted and you don't pay for Patreon, we have uploaded episode 19 for free on iTunes. Right now on iTunes, just type in Corrupted and search the Corrupted Podcast with uh, Joe, Ken, and uh, Bailey. Uh, yeah, I talked about myself in third person. I'm on the cover of it, and it's episode 19 is the new one. And I'm really going this time. More wrestling news in a little while. Plus, tonight, the Diablo 3 stream. Diablo 3 season 12 starting. Hopefully, Jake DeMarco, myself, and Leah, and maybe somebody else, will be streaming Diablo live on YouTube.com slash Corrupted Podcast YouTube channel. And... Um, on twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS. Goodbye, finally. Watch these other videos from Joe Cronin or die.